What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got the old rig here and it is time to switch out the Banks air filter for a clean one. And most importantly, not only am I gonna show you how to put the filter in, I am gonna show you how to properly clean your filter using the k and recharger kit. Let me know if you guys have ever done this and done it like I have. All right guys, let's check this out. guys welcome back to the channel thanks so much for checking us out we're back here installing reinstalling the big ass air filter from banks performance they have got some great stuff on the market for your power strokes duramaxes and comments but we're here to talk about only the ford stuff so make sure to hit that like and sub while you get your internet browser ready because you're probably going to want to order this once we're done so here is the setup on our truck this is the banks ram air kit and you can kind of see she's looking all right she's looking all right but most importantly, what we're gonna need to do is take this lid off. We have four screws, one, two, three, four, and this whole lid is going to come off, and then we are gonna pull the air filter out via loosening this clamp, and then the air filter is gonna come right out and is gonna look similar to this. All right, screw number one, screw number two, Screw number three. And screw number four. Oh yeah. Then you come over here with your little itty bitty trim tool and pull this guy out because that's what's fastening the front of the box to the truck. And then you come here and it's literally lift the box cover off of the truck leaving the bolts in it you might not want to do that when you're putting it back in because you might be a butterfingers but here it is the filter we have one eight milli all right eight milli yeah. eight milli we're gonna reuse that clamp this filter should fall right off as it just did and here's the filter this has been on this truck for, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I would say almost 10,000 miles. Check it out. Compare it to the new one here. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, flip it on this side. Flip it on this side. Doesn't look too bad. But now we're going to put the new one in but we are also going to start the cleaning process for the old filter it's real important to have an extra filter unless you have absolutely nothing to do so you can wait for this one to be cleaned and dried and then re-oil it so that you're not uh, rushing the procedure because you don't want to have uh, liquid oil droplets getting on the inside of your intake tube and more importantly onto your turbocharger. Now, some of you guys might be asking if there is a lot of oil or anything in the intake manifold. Doesn't, doesn't look too oily to me. Looks pretty dry, rubbery dry. You can see the mass airflow sensor. But this is like some, no, oh, it's actually, it's actually in the tube. Not really wiping any dust, just barely. Let's do the swipe test. Swiping, swiping just a little bit. I mean, I, I am not bothered by that at all. Um, I don't think this is prematurely dusting anything. I'm not having an issue with this at all. So, let's get the new air filter on. We need to transfer the clamp. Let's put the clamp on. Put the clamp on the same way we took it off. 
right there. And lastly, one of the things that I got from Mr. Banks himself, besides all these stickers, was a pre-filter. Let's, a high flow filter app. Let's take this out. All right, check it out. Kind of reminds me of uh, the netting you put on when you get your perm. Uh, I'm gonna need two hands for this, but I think you guys get the point. Let's, uh, let's fully adorn this. Dang, check it out. Pretty slick. The one reason why I wanted to get this on the filter is specifically because of this stuff. Here in the Rust Belt, we have all the salt spray and everything. We have an engine that has the air intake right here and is constantly drawing gallons and gallons of air into the engine. And the air filter, I think, it can get a, a little saturated maybe with the salt and water mixture and I am no longer interested in that. So let's get the new air filter on the truck and let's start that cleaning process. All right, here we are. I told you we were gonna clean the filter and this is what we're using. I got the k and recharge kit in, what did it say? Oh, it's on the can. In Rouge. All right, so there's two things we're gonna do. Cl three things clean dry and then oil so what you're gonna do is uh, I don't know exactly what chemical or what kind of cleaner this is but you're gonna spray the SHIT out of this big ass banks filter right there and you're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes so watch me soak My fingers hurt. All right, you see how it's pink looking? I'm assuming it's gonna be more white. Later, man, talk about cramping my pointer finger. Whew. All right, we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutos, and uh, then we're gonna go over to the garden hose. All right, she's been soaking. Now let's go take this over to the garden hose. We have. Uh, just got it set up here, all ran over here, got it all set up here on the pole. First time having the hose here in the in the new shop. All right, let's see here, what do I want to do? I think we're gonna go over to the drain and get this, get this thing clean. I got that socket for you. Thought you were recording. I didn't read your socket, but we'll be here next week. Oh, no problem. Oh, no problem. It was backward and just shifted yesterday. Okay. Cool, man. It's on its way. Thanks, man.
All right, after a 10 minute soak and a liberal spray with the garden hose, this is how it's came out. And we are not going to make, we're not gonna dry this any faster, put it in front of a heat lamp or anything. We're just gonna let this dry uh, for however long it's gonna take, a couple hours. Uh, my preference is I'm gonna let this thing dry overnight. What I had done in the past is I had a little square box fan that I would sit on a milk crate, you know, upside down, and then I would set the filter over the fan so that the fan, so the fan would draw air through the milk crate and then ultimately kind of supercharge the uh, drying process a little quicker so I could get it done in one day. But I think I'm gonna let this thing sit overnight and get this all the way dry. You guys can see how, how white it is. How whiter it is. I mean, you can still see some pink in it, but for the most part, it's all it's all gone. All right, guys. Here is the filter. It's the next day, and we have a bunch of stuff going on. But the filter is clean. Uh, I mean, it's still a little pink, but uh, I mean, it's definitely cleaner than what it was. Now, this is what banks. Ain't happening. This is what Banks recommended to use, and pretty much what we're gonna do is just like this. I'm gonna let's give a little test spray. Okay. And we're gonna do just this. I wanna get away from all the stuff sitting here on the bench. Let's let's put it over here on this cardboard we're not going to use anymore. Now you don't want to get it too close because uh, you don't want that much liquid droplets to form on the element. But uh, all right, let's check it out. I'm going to stop talking. You can watch. You want to make sure you get both both sides of the pleats, but I think I think this is I think this looks all right. Maybe just a little bit more, like right here. Uh, but I will wipe the excess off uh, the next day once this completely dries. I'm about a foot and a half away from the filter when I'm doing this, so if that. Uh, puts it in perspective but yeah I think I think uh, I think that's it like I'm gonna wipe all this stuff off here but I think I have successfully oiled maybe see the little discoloration there I think we'll get the, the bottoms whatever you're gonna spray it on you're probably gonna be making a mess but I think that's good, you guys. Let me know uh, how you are doing this in the comments. I want to know if you're running a Banks, if you're running an S&B, or maybe you're not cleaning this thing at all and it weighs about 30 pounds. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys do. I appreciate you for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you next time. Maybe cleaning a air filter. We'll see you. All right, here is the new filter installed. You can see the wrap around the filter like we showed you the other day. And if you look through the, the housing, can't really tell, but you can definitely tell looking through here.